Okay, I just wanted to do a little video on what is in my medicine cabinet, meaning what skincare products am I using, what do I find works really well and have been sticking with. I just wanted to share that with you. All right, so day to day, I wash my face uh, and I always put marula oil on. This stuff is great. I'm kind of done using skincare creams. I feel like they're not powerful enough. Um, I also use this guy, which is like a vitamin C, but it's it's a different kind because I found vitamin C, which these are, that, well, I still use a sun dry cream, but Ole Hendrickson is a vitamin C. They're great. They make really good products, um, but I found it gave my skin some texture and I didn't like that. And this has all the brightening, tightening effects that vitamin C has, but without that weird texture on your skin. So I have switched to using this one on the back of my hands. A um, lot of people forget about the back of their hands and that's the thing that can show your age first. So that's a product I tried on my face, didn't care for it, but I've been using there. This is also another product. It's one of those um, alternate to Retin-A. I found that um, it's too drying on my skin and it also kind of gives it a weird texture. So I'm not doing any of that. I'm doing these two. I use Retin-A, wonderful Retin-A, uh, three times a week and I mix it with this stuff, which is a very potent facial oil. Uh, it's very moisturizing, so that way you don't get any of the bad effects of Retin-A, like the red and patchy skin. Um, but you do get the brightening and tightening, and you get your kind of youthful skin back. So I do that one three times a week in the evening before I go to bed, so you can get the full effects. This I do every day. This I usually use on days, like the next morning, if I have not done Retin-A, I use it. If I've done Retin-A, I sometimes just do this under my eyes. This under eye cream is a vitamin C under eye cream and it really helps with brightening. It's good stuff. I use that during the day. For evening, this cream, this Bobbi Brown um, Eye Repair Cream Extra. Look, it's a little bit more money. I think this little thing is like 70 bucks. Um, sometimes you can find them cheaper on eBay. It lasts a really long time. I have tried so many under eye creams and this one is awesome. Um, it doesn't do the brightening, but definitely for fine lines and moisturizing, this stuff is awesome. Um, okay, this is just a menagerie of things. So that's actually baking soda. I've been trying that out to whiten my teeth, which so far seems to be working. Um, and this is different gel, which I use for spot treatment for acne because you still get acne even in your 40s. Um, but I find that's really good and it's usually almost gone by the morning. This is a little brush I use with this stuff, which is Latisse. It's a generic form called Care Prost. Um, I paint that on my eyelids uh, usually every night. Um, I've been using it a very long time, so you don't have to do it every night. So if I forget, I don't worry about it. Um, but that is stuff that makes your eyelashes grow and it really works and it's really awesome. Um, when I remove my uh, makeup at night, I just use these Pond's facial wipes. And then I usually, after I do that, I use either this guy, which is Bioderma. It's a purifying uh, water, basically. So any residue from any cleaners, any leftover makeup that's in your pores, it gets rid of, uh, which is great. And it doesn't, it's not like harsh or damaging on your skin. So I can, I use this one all the time. This Pixi Glow Tonic is awesome. Um, it gives your, it has um, glycolic uh, acid in it. And it's a little bit more of an exfoliator. So I use it when I feel like my skin might be a little dull. It just perks it up. So this stuff is great. This is a prescription. This is um, clindamycin phosphate gel. I get a little folliculitis and it works really well. This stuff is a new fine scar away. Um, my dermatologist told me about it because I had to have, a, um, to have some skin removed and I scar super easy and my scars last forever. 
she was like, use this every day. So I have been using it, use it twice a day, uh, once in the morning and once at night, and it is great. I can't even tell you, old scars are starting to go away. It, it really works. You have to be consistent, but it really works. Um, that's just chapstick. Burt's Bees, they make the most awesomest chapstick. This stuff, so this is native deodorant. Um, it's one of those natural, paraben-free, aluminum-free deodorants. I have tried a few. Here's another one. Um, I think this is Lumen. Um, this one is awesome. Um, I did start using it in the winter because your body needs a little bit of time to get used to it. So I felt like, okay, sweat a lot less in the winter. Why don't I start it then? And then by the summer, I was totally ready and you know, like everything was working like it's supposed to. It smells so good. You want to eat it. It's so good. But it works really well too and it's all natural. So whenever possible, I try to go all natural. These are eye makeup remover pads. Um, they're the oil-free ones from Alme. I've used them for like 15 years. I try other ones and I keep going back to them. They are great. Every once in a while, I do a little mud mask. This is... Um, Ahava, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, it's a mud mask. This is also a very nice mud mask. Um, I try to use those every once in a while. They're very nice for clarifying your skin. Um, so I don't do them as much as I should, but I have them for when I am. Anyway, that is most of the products I use almost every day. Um, I have tried so many face products and moisture i've tried so many versions of all of these and right now i feel like this stuff is really great and keeps my face in really good shape anyway thanks for watching if you'd like a more in-depth video of any of the products that i talked about in this video just let me know and i will work on that thanks for watching